Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Richard here at RSEV and that's the end of 2023, isn't it? So I'm going to do a bit of a video rounding up mainly some data and statistics uh, gathered throughout the year of 2023, largely focusing on EV demand. Our speciality here is to sell used electric vehicles. So I'm going to talk about the used electric vehicle market and how uh, that changed and transformed and what the actual data is from 2023. Again, I always mention there's often these headline news about uh, prices have dropped, um, demand as for nobody wants them. Well, that's not true, and I'm going to prove it with some data in a minute. And that data is mainly provided by Auto Trader, which is the biggest platform in the UK. So, I've got some interesting stuff coming up there. Uh, as for us for 2023, it was a pretty good year. We actually sold more cars than the year before. Uh, turnover was actually slightly down, but we also had some reduced costs, so we had uh, better margins. It actually, turned out to be a better year than the year previously. Although 2023 was a very up and down year. But of course, previously we had COVID years as well. But it was good. So a big thank you to all our customers who bought cars, gave us cars to sell for them, uh, gave us cars that we bought from them, and anyone involved. So if you're a customer of ours, thank you very much. And if you're a subscriber of our channel, thank you very much as well. I'm going to include some interesting little facts about our YouTube channel uh, later on in this video as well. Um, so... As for us, one of our big savings from last year, which helped with profitability, was a reduction in electricity. So before I get into the market health, quickly uh, summarize our uh, solar savings, because if you remember, just before uh, January in 2023, we installed our solar system. We got 42 panels on the roof, two Tesla Powerwall batteries. The investment, uh, by the time we took some tax loans, about £39,000. Um, how does that pay off in the end? Well. Again, I don't look at it as if I've got to get it paid back to me because it added to the value of the building. And the solar's been fantastic, especially all through the summer, we were largely off-grid, and that's charging electric cars every single day, uh, plus running the offices and heating, air conditioning, and stuff like that. So did we make some savings from solar? Hell yes, we did. We saved over £16,000 worth of electricity costs in 2023 alone. So even in the winter months, and we've, we've been getting into a pretty bad winter this year, with not much rain, uh, sun at all, um, when we do have to use grid energy, uh, we still saved over £16,000. So in 2023 as a whole, we generated very nearly 25 megawatt hours of energy. Um, we used 29.4 megawatt hours in total. Of course, you can't always use everything at, at once that's being produced, so some has to go via the batteries, uh, which is good. So 3,500 kilowatt hours of it nearly went via our batteries. We could store what we couldn't use at the time and use it later. So in the end, we imported 10 megawatt hours, but we exported 4.7 megawatt hours of energy to the grid as well, of which we get some money back for that. And that's a large part of the savings that we made. So in summary, solar, fantastic. If you run a business, you've got a warehouse offices, we've got perfect roofs for it, get solar if you can. It's a big saving, uh, especially with the prices of electricity, which have come down recently, which actually means the savings become less. But when the electricity was really high, that's when we really made some great money there. So I love our solar, it's brilliant, and it's added to the value of the building, and it's saving us loads of money in the meantime. Uh, right, okay, look, the main topic of this video really, EV market health. So I'm gonna cover some uh, figures here. Um, and it's really about demand, uh, supply, and what we call market health, which is really a, a factor of those two. You can have uh, tons of demand, but little supply was going to give you really high market health because lots of people find out the same stuff. Um, doesn't mean demand is low. So when I talk about market health with uh, low or high numbers, take those into account. And I'll try and explain it as I go. So for all used EVs last year, was there a good demand? Yes. In fact, it was up 53% from the previous year. So demand for used EVs in the UK, 53% up from the previous year. So yes, we saw some depreciation, like just about all of the used car market uh, post-COVID, you know, and then the early in the year, Tesla dropped some prices, which of course dropped the, the values, which doesn't help if you're an owner, you've seen some depreciation, and some other manufacturers, of course, have seen some big depreciation as well. But don't lose sight of the fact that actually demand for EVs is up 53%. Yes, increased stock by 114%. And that's why market health, uh, as we then summarise the factor of the two across all EVs for 2023, uh, was minus 18% compared to the previous year. But that's not lack of demand. Demand was up 53%. 
Make sense? I hope so. Um, I also drilled down a little bit to Tesla only because we sell a lot of Teslas here. We sell all EVs. There's a real mixture out here, as you can see. In fact, there's a couple of product exchanges, not electrics, but we sell all EVs, but a large factor is, is Tesla. I know a lot of our audience are Tesla owners as well. So if we look at Tesla only, we've got 39% increased demand for 2023 compared to 2022, uh, but 44% more stock, uh, but it gives an overall plus 4% market health. Um, Again, you can actually keep drilling down. Model 3 has been performing well, Model Y, Model X and S's. Not so much so, but what we have found uh, is that especially the very late Model S's and X's have been doing okay because you can't get a right-hand drive Model S or X in this country like we need. So that's helped with some of those late models there. Now, I just want to compare as well. If we look at, say, diesel, they, they show a plus 18% market health, um, but demand is only plus 1%. It's because supply is minus 14%. So demand for diesels is 1% up, 53% up for electric. Uh, petrol, 15% market health, demand up 6%, supply minus 7%. So demand for petrol up 6 demand for diesel up 1%, demand for EVs, 53%. So there's your demand. Remember that market health is a kind of combination of the two factors. Well, I actually looked, um, you know, which manufacturers had the worst market health. So possibly risky, but um, so Volvo electric cars down 66%, Cupra down 58%, Kia down 57%, and Skoda, Polestar, and Ford also not looking brilliant when you look at market health. However, this is how market health can be a little bit distorted uh, or not necessarily clear straight away because if you look at Volvo, minus 66% down compared to the previous year, but demand is 91% up. There's actually more people by a long way looking for used electric Volvos. It's just that supply is plus 466%. Uh, and that's why we're seeing the prices coming down and market health looks low, but demand is there. You've got to remember that now we are seeing a lot more electric vehicles coming off of the lease companies after two, three, four years and stuff like that. So there's just more stock, which means that prices fall down. But demand is there. If we look more recently um, at the uh, electric car, used car market, um, the last 13 weeks, we've seen a demand of plus 88%. Uh, supply is plus 12%. Market health plus 67%. So that's really positive. Last quarter of the year. Strong numbers there, I think. Um, and if we actually look down at the last four weeks uh, of EVs, so basically during December, demand is 104% up. Supply is plus seven, market health is plus 90%. So the latest statistics for electric cars in the UK look really, really good. This, like I say, isn't my own data. This is from uh, Market Health, Biggest UK, um, uh, Auto Trader Market Health, Biggest UK, used car advertising platform. So. It does look positive, demand is there, so don't feel dejected. Right, now let's have a look at just a few fun facts about YouTube, because YouTube's been a really big factor, and again, I want to say a special thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, watching our channels, leaving comments. Uh, we get some really good feedback. Um, it's been quite important for business, actually, as well. We get past from all over the country coming to us because, well, you know us, don't you? And then people turn up and go, oh, you just like you are on a video. So that's good. Um, you know, again, a, a big thanks to everyone who, who, who's commented and liked and been involved. And especially then if you've turned out to be a customer as well, it'd been great to meet you. Always is really good, but a big thank you. Um, so please, again, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. We really do appreciate your support over the last couple of years. It's been fantastic. I'm blown away with, um, how popular it's been, you know, I'm just a used car dealer on the South Coast rambling away about electric cars being pretty good, eh? Um, but um, here's a few figures, look, because it, it really has reached a global audience. That global audience, 94% male. I'm not, uh, I'm not getting too many female viewers here, so 94% male audience. Over 500,000 hours of watch time, which is actually less than the previous year, but we were a little bit busy, as I've said. Um, so actually a few less videos this year, plus less new stuff that we could get hold of to film. But again, we will try and keep videos going in the new year. Our most popular videos have been the ones about the self-parking. So um, I guess if Tesla doesn't do well at something, it gets a lot of views. So um, we had a couple of videos about self-parking and then about Tesla Vision. They've done very well. Um, again, thanks to everyone watching. But look at this, views by country, right? 39% um, of viewers in the UK. So a lot of people watch our videos from outside the UK. And amazing statistics. So nearly 20% from the USA. Australia, 3.5%, Canada, 
Um, and it, it continues around the world. So again, big thank you to everybody, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for listening to me rambling on. Views per city, London's the highest, followed by Sydney, Melbourne, Dublin, Birmingham, Los Angeles, New York, Brisbane, Denmark, uh, Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Bristol, Leeds, Toronto. <laughs> All around the world, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, and we did get quite a lot of comments and even some emails through from people in Australia. So, um, yeah, that's really good. Country with the least views. So this deserves a special thank you, actually. So there's this tiny little island, Tokeleo, I think it is, in the Pacific Ocean. We looked at that. It's a tiny dot of a cluster of houses. Someone was watching us from there last year, and so you deserve a special thank you uh, for watching from there. So um, a big thanks, yeah. Uh, remarkable, really, isn't it? So... Um, so that about rounds up my kind of end of December, end of 2023 summary in terms of data. Uh, again, a big thank you to everyone, all the staff here for all their efforts, all our subscribers and all our customers. I do really appreciate it. Last year was a good year growing on the previous years. In fact, we've seen growth every single year. And let's see what happens in 2024 in a difficult market condition because uh, EV demand is up, but there's more around. There's new models affecting pricing. So Model 3 Highland arrives soon, and that's going to be busy time here with presumably some previous Model 3s coming to the market. But what is good is it's becoming really affordable. Some amazing bargains now. Model 3, standard long ranges in the 20,000s, 25, 30,000, 35,000 pounds. You know, really, really good long range EVs, easy charging. There's some really good bargains. Taycan market, oh, the prices of them are dropping. Look at the bargains on Taycans now. Uh, there's some really good stuff out there for now, very sensible money. And um, uh, what I'm looking forward to is just helping more people into EVs uh, during 2024. So that's going to be really good. And if you're a dealer, look, look at numbers yourself. You can do that. You can log in. You can see demand is there. So that's it for me. A big thank you to everyone from 2023. Let's roll into 2024. The phone's already ringing. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching.